Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Galen. Hi, welcome back to Cud Buds with me, Galen, I, and Big Simple. I forgot to. I, I I really should do this more, but um, you're also uh, Killer Monkey Art on uh, tw Twitter and Coffee. Links in the description. And Blue Sky, baby. Blue Sky. F Twitter. Yeah. The, ba -ba -ba. New, the new social media. Yay. I'm sure you'll find my link in the description. You will. I'll, I'll, nice. I'll put it in there. We'll do this. You can also have like a little tag image at the Elon, end. I don't know. Elon Crust or our... no Elon Crust. Oh, F that guy. <laughs> F right. that guy so hard. <laughs> Pass hard, hard pass. Uh, do we want to eat some more apple mats? I am hungry, so yes. Hungry for apples? Hungry for clay oven. Here I go. You go. Wow, you're guys taking the long way. Taking the longest way. I don't want anyone to see me. <laughs> All right. But what if I? What if I? What if I whip up a meal? No, I'm just gonna eat Nothing. the apple mats. It would, it would be the same. At that natural healing rate. Is that oh. is it the same as it was before? I think so, yeah. Nope. The re recipes in CUD always provide um, consistent results because uh, otherwise you're all over the map. How do I learn recipes? Do you want to learn some recipes? How do I do it? Um... First, it's in a, it's a skill. So let's uh, check out our skills. Oh golly. Skills is. Try K. Nope. No, nope, that's, that's a journal. That's tinkering. I should have known that. I don't know if skills has a button. It could be H. I suppose. Probably not. Another mistake. White L continues to be look. P. Um. Try P. There you go. P. We learned the button for skills. P equals skills. So it's um, cooking and gathering is a hundred skill points, and then if we want to actually learn recipes and stuff, or uh, even invent recipes, then it's probably more. Uh, we could do that, or we could see if we can take customs and folklore or trash divining, or we could even you take. You seem Pose real and hyped on lore um it's These not... are pretty cheap do you want to do it I, I i mean it's it is good it's just some advanced stuff even i am not super familiar with how to make the best use of cooking and gathering let's mm. let's do it though we'll, maybe we'll learn something together all right uh so it's a hundred to just buy in right yeah and that way we'll start to we'll be able to learn recipes uh, to really make use of it, though, you probably want Carbide Chef. Oh. Have you become inspired for two days? While inspired, the next time you cook a meal by choosing ingredients, you get a choice of three dynamically generated effects to apply. Yeah, okay. So that's how we invent recipes. Harvestry and butchery is good for getting ingredients. So if you want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for carbide chef. Okay. And then I'm gonna go for harvestry because that lets me take stuff. Yeah, I actually don't know if I recommend butchery. Come to think of it, because it really is, um, like it, it's very circumstantially valuable. Uh, and it just provides meat, and meat is actually not necessarily the go-to for in ingredients harvestry is is the good the good business oh spicer is also oh. good i won't i won't well lie. let's i don't i don't want to yeah let's not do all of them right now but okay harvestry seems if you take that you could possibly take bow and rifle The only reason I'm hype on customs and folklore is because the earlier you take it, the more valuable it is long term. Yeah, we could also look at some cudgel stuff. That's that's a good point, actually. You could take conch. I'm not strong enough to do the rest of it, huh? No. 
Not yet. What's, what's conk get me? It's an active skill that lets you basically daze your opponent, um, like, right away instead of in as a chance-based thing. The sooner you daze your opponent, the more chances you have of stunning your opponent. Okay, I like that, and I want to get it soon, but I think I want to look at uh, bow stuff. The reason I recommend even just taking the basic bow and rifle skill is because it will improve your chances of hitting something by a lot, like right away. Yeah, let's do let's do bow for now, just so both my things, because we've already enhanced cudgel once, right? Yeah, and it's already working quite well for you. You've stunned a few things. And that already gives me steady hands and draw a bead. Yep. No, I can't afford the rest, but I'd like to peruse them. It's a fire. Nice. I do like that. I am a coward at <laughs> heart, so. Being able to hit things from a distance. Bosun, uh, Bosun rifles are is a very active um, skill tree. I uh, I like bows and rifles, but I tend not to bother with a lot of its abilities. But that's because I'm very lazy when it comes to figuring out when to use them or not. Um, but I think I think it'll be worth it'll be valuable having that skill for sure. Okay. Right. Well. I don't think we're good. What's acrobatics get me? Let's have a look. Swift reflexes is a decent one that uh, gives offers us some DV. Dodge value? Yes. And actually. attack value? Uh, and it would be armor value. Armor value. Dang, that makes more sense. Yeah, dodge. So. Uh... The, the very um, cliff notes on DV and AV is that uh, AV pr provides protection from attacks, whereas DV has the chance of avoiding them completely. And so AV is almost always more valuable because um, it, it's going to lessen the damage, whereas DV, it's a dice roll every time. Even if you have very, very good DV, you still have the chance of taking a hit. And if you do and don't have good AV to back it up, you may just instantly get jibbed. You know, like, you don't want to rely on DV. It's kind of fun, though. I've, ro I've rolled the DV builds. You get, like, very, very late game, and uh, you basically take no damage... 99% uh, of the time, and then that 1% one, 1 you die instantly. <laughs> Alright, well, I, I'm going to save the rest of my, my points for now. Okay. Makes sense. Um, I like this. I think, I think tinkering also weirdly interests me. Oh, tinkering is amazing. Tinkering um, in CUD is like... Yeah. Oof, it's, it's the good stuff. I think I think as as the Batman, I want to be a gadget boy. Oh yeah. And and distance distance seems important. You're already like semi cosplaying as Batman because like you've got you've got the structural scanning bracelet, so that's like his little calm thing. We just need some batarangs and some like gas grenades, and then we're like good to go. Oh, that man. All right. Where's um, Rachel? All right. Uh... So, um, why don't we check out our historic site? Mervatum? Yeah. Okay. Uh, nothing else in Jopa that we want to do before mm. we say goodbye forever, probably? Yeah, no, not really. Okay. Do I have new options now at this thing before I... You do. We can check them out. Let's have Ooh. a look. 
So uh, why don't we go ahead and preserve your fresh foods just right away? That's going to save you some weight. So that those are all foods that you've been automatically picking up, like the star apples, for instance, and the vine wafers. Mm -hmm. And now you've con converted them into actual usable ingredients that are free of weight. I love that. Should then I we preserve can... my exotic foods as well? Um, you can. This is more of an option, though. These are going to be things... You can have a look at this. These are going to be things that are actually useful in their own right but if you turn them into ingredients opens the door for very very powerful foods let's take it like let's... when you click on it it won't like automatically oh. do it so yeah um salve injectors are like kind of your new med kit they offer some very powerful healing effects so if you were to convert one of them into ingredients then you could make a very powerful healing food you don't want to do all of them. Let's try like one. Yeah. Because you get like five servings. So now you can make five foods with salve. All right. So let's back out of this. Cool. Now we can choose ingredients. Now you do have Carbide Chef. And I know I, I hate to metagame here, but you might want to hold off on cooking something until you are inspired because yeah, right. th then you'll have more options to play with it will happen it's only a five percent chance but it's like a five percent chance every time you see a new screen which is often so it will eventually happen i go up so our uh our historic site is in the middle of those rust wells saloons of kabad is that the historic site or is there is another historic site but it's probably going to be a bit spicier since it's in the jungle the one uh it's there's another one north whoop not that far north no that's bethesda susa green thing no that's golgotha, golgotha. right to uh, southwest left once more there you go mervatum all right but you want to go yeah, that um, the saloons. Depending on where this the historic site is, kind of dictates its difficulty rating. So like that one's in the cliffs and canyons, and so it's not going to be as spicy as one that's in the jungle. I'm 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 betting you are going to get lost in the canyons. You I usually do. No, we we got lucky. Nice. We're going in. We already got some XP for even coming here. And welcome to the historical site of the Saloons of Kabad. Let's visit the Saloons of Kabad. Right. Good quest. Yes. That's part one of the quest. The second... Uh-oh. Immediately spicy. Elderly kittle kittens, her thin shoulders, whose relative bulk along with the keenness of her eye marks her as attentive to this templi time place. Implas, eh? <laughs> and so lower rank than her seeker kit. So we're close enough to them that we could actually step towards them and, and beat them up. This is uh, one of my least favorite enemies in Cud. Uh, but they're very squishy. Right. You'll see soon what, what why they suck. Are you gonna take it? You try and shoot them? Yeah. All right. Why not? Go for it. Uh, Are you gonna hit him with the boom? Oh no, the steel arrow. That's probably better. Go for it. You did hit him. You're gonna want to continue hitting them. They ah now now they are burrowing a channel uh through the psychic aether of your mind. That's the bad. You're going to want to kill them post haste. Oh, 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 no. Okay. There's, oh my God. There's so many of them. It, oh my God. Is this a historic site of, of, of sightless way novice? Cause if that's the case, this place sucks. Um, 
I don't know what to tell you. One of them is sundering your mind right now, so you want to kill them as quickly as possible. It could I'm gonna be... die. You, you probably run? are. I'm not... You can't run at this point. Another one. Okay, so you killed the one that was sundering your mind. Hold on, before you do anything, go into your inventory. You have a small chance of surviving this. Um, go down to you meds. I. Well, it was I. Now it's G. Now it's G? Oh. Yeah, meds. Boop, 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 boop. Let's take some witchwood bark. It may not help, but we'll see. I eat it? Yeah, eat it. All right, you're confused. That's not good. But maybe it's an improvement. Okay, so before we do anything, have you noticed something has changed? <laughs> yeah, and the map's all wild. It's all now. wild. We're you're confused right now. That's the the after the potential effects of eating witchwood bark, but the primary effects are that you get healing. Should I eat more? You can't. Well, you can. Uh, why don't you try? Let's... Well, if I can't, what's the point? You can, but. Just hit your inventory for a second. <laughs> so, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, your witchwood bark is amongst that pile. Um, but finding out which one it is is would be challenging. Um, but you're still healing from the original witchwood bark. Uh, here's here's the fun thing. I, I usually make a mental note of the map before eating witchwood bark. Uh, it might appear jumbled, but act in actuality, it's, it is exactly... It's still the same? It's still the same. So, do you remember where they were? You died, it's fine. Oh. That is, a uh, quite possibly one of the worst... I did, I did hit him before I died. Yeah, I saw that. You did. But, uh, their, their sundering was just too sundery for you. That is, a, that is one of the worst, um historic sites I've ever seen. So you want to reload for sure. We can go back and try again, but I have Let's a Let's try feeling. again! It's going to be much the same if it's a novice of the sightless way historic site. Let's give it one more go. We'll give it one more go. I I have I have I don't think I've ever seen a, a historic site of the sightless way. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh my god. Uh you what's that bird? That is a glow bird. You might actually want to go hit like um 3 and hide in that corner for a second. That's nine. Did you mean nine? No, I meant three. No, that's three. Oh, you're right. Okay, yeah, I did mean nine. Sorry. Let's wait here for a moment. We're gonna wait. We're gonna we're gonna wait a bunch. In fact, why don't you hit Shift W for a moment? And we're gonna wait like fifty turns. Your character, oh, there's a bear. Your character will stop waiting as soon as something dangerous appears. So we want something, we want uh, them to appear in that corner, like where the bear is right now. Also, and that there's we... a cult of Berylashid in the Southwest. Is there? Oh no, that that <laughs> is the bear. <laughs> they're, oh. they're a bear and member of the cult of Berylashid. Do I kill this bear? Yeah, you definitely want to kill that bear. Days stunned, remain stunned. Okay, I mean that's good. So let's let's hit the uh, shift W again and wait. You can just hit fifty, there. And then we're just gonna every time someone appears there, you can just beat them up right away. And that way we don't. Oh, they died instantly. There's a bear. Another bear. Seems like it swapped a bunch of cult members for bears this time. It might have done that, and that's actually great for us. We really don't want to have to fight 
novice of the sightless way. We would much prefer to fight bears. Um, there's just a big pile of stuff happening here. Yeah, uh, good stuff too. Carbide daggers are much more valuable than the, the bronze. You can go there and All take right, some stuff. Way. Hit G. Oh, oh, is it still there? Ooh, yeah. We definitely want to equip one of those spiked gauntlets. Uh, do the spiked gauntlets instead of the chain. They're a bit heavier, but... I guess I guess you could mm. do the chain because you're not going to make use of the spiked part. Okay. Okay. The spiked means that if you're doing unarmed strikes then you have a chance to cause bleeding you want to throw them on your hands if you put them on uh, right or left hand it'll unequip your hammer Ooh, carbide hammer or sorry no that's steel war hammer still not as good as your jackhammer but we want Worth that dagger. carrying and selling or no um it's only four pounds so maybe but i i would bet no like, all of this stuff is only worth taking now because we don't have any money, but soon enough, it's all going to be worthless. All right, let's get back in our nook and uh, play the play the waiting game. Just like ba the Batman would. Ba the Batman does wait. Done. He sets a trap. All right, let's wait another 50 turns. Um, things are happening okay we could do some exploring at well, that, this point that bird is moving around for sure oh, oh god i hate that i hate everything that you've just seen um so there's a turret right in front of you mm -hmm. there is mm -hmm. a uh, novice of the sightless way three bugs i don't know if the dragonflies are going to be aggressive to you but they might be Oh, and there's one to your left. That sucks, too. That That's basically a death sentence. I don't think there's anything you can do now. <laughs> uh, nice attempt, honestly. The The problem, uh. the problem is, is that once they lock you in psychic battle, they can even hurt you if they can't see you. I guess I was hoping to avoid the gun. I probably should just punch the gun. Yeah, the gun would have probably died in one hit. Well, it's all good. That uh, I think we can. I think we could take this. You're gonna try one more time. All right. I I appreciate the gusto. We do have a method that kind of works. We could like wait more turns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we can also just not go right because good lord does right suck but left also sucked a lot it did it did at least we're getting this little kind of oof oof yeah 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 good moves good moves that's okay that's okay Dazed. we just we really don't want them to see us it, it, like mm -hmm. unless they're right next to us we got that bear again beat up that bear Classic. smack that bear around oh this bear's doing better there we go remain stunned remain stunned dazed critical stunned remain stunned we're good we're good you can do um, a, you can do the hit the rest button it's still waiting but it's easier i guess oh, uh -oh. yeah good like, they're really squishy. They just have one of the most annoying attacks in the game that can kill you. Good, good, good. This is all good. So now, why don't we wait, like, I don't know, 500 turns. There's really no... There's no, nothing bad can happen here. A lot of red happening over there. Yeah, there's some infighting going on. All right. Uh, let's nope. see if that oh, oh. Uh, dragonfly is aggressive. I'm curious. How do I? I'll uh, just like look at it. 
He's neutral. He's neutral. That's good. Okay, it's because he's not a he's not part of the the historic site faction. Um, we okay. can go and pick up some stuff on the ground. It might be different this time. What I might recommend. Yeah, we didn't get the spiked gauntlets this time, but the the chain gauntlets are still better. They're still good. Uh... We got that carbide dagger. That's still good. Here's what I would recommend. Um, left is bad. Right is bad. We haven't tried punching up through the wall. <clears throat> We can keep going. The, the, it'll, it might be a bit tougher. might take a, a couple more attempts. But we will inevitably break through it. There you go. You definitely, yeah. Just You can do the shale because it's easier. And this is good. At least, uh, at least this is, you know, <clears throat> not... Uh, Not dangerous. <clears throat> sure. Yeah. I mean, we'll uh, we'll we'll eventually see some more of the actual site. I remain confident. I wonder you okay you're only doing five damage i have a funny feeling that your jackhammer just ran out of power oh no if you're only yeah. doing five damage that means it's no longer doing its its work i need cells man <laughs> we could check out that little route to your southeast oh what the yeah, that was weird. Yeah, that's strange. Drained. I do. Th I think we have another cell in your Jopa recoiler, but we don't want to use that. And I also think it's almost dead as well. You do really need some chem cells. Is that going to mean my attack is now less good? I don't think so. You can always check, like, uh, have a look at the actual pneumatic jackhammer and see if its damage is the same. Yeah, it's still pen six and two d four. Like, I don't think that you are ever using it to jackhammer enemies. You're literally just swinging a giant jackhammer at them. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, we got a bird. A door. We do have a door. Door could be okay. Birds are probably fine. It's an up door or a through door. Uh, what do you mean? How do I door? You just walk through it. What do you want to do to the door? Oh, I see. It, no, it's just a door. Nothing, nothing. Oh, okay. Like, there's... there's I no, see. There's no... It doesn't go down. Okay, the birds are neutral. You can close the door if you want, but I'm pretty sure it won't matter. This is good. The glow crows are neutral. Okay, I mean, at least we're seeing more of the dungeon. You can move around that, yeah. We've got a hermit. Ah, uh, yeah, I wasn't I was going to recommend against that direction. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to, you're going to have to fight them. You can't, you can't run away from them now. You got to kill them. Well. You're probably dead now. There's no amount of distance that will... What if I close the door? No. I mean, you could, you could try. I really think you're dead, though. The, Can the, I... Bandages? The problem with their attack is that after a certain amount of time, it not only does uh, a lot of damage, but then it has a final smack where it does all of its damage that it's already applied again. It's for bleeding, huh? And it explodes your head. 
Yeah, you just, your head exploded. Oh, no. You took 37 damage from the cumulative trauma of the novice of the Sailor's Way. All right, well, this place sucks. Yeah, it does. It's, um, that is, like, one of the worst places I think that I've ever seen. You could go there and get the 250 XP and then just bail. And then, and then come back later? Yeah, come back, like, m way later. Basically, when you can one-shot them just by looking at them. Which is not that far from now. Like, honestly, they're very, very squishy. Oh, no. Have I led you astray? Try it now. I'm just... I'll, I'll wait. Oh wait. I don't want to do... At least you get the carbide dagger in it. Oh, and the chain. If we can leave with the chain gauntlets, that would be ideal. Because those are just really good. A really good find this early. All right, see if we can leave now. Ah, oh, shoot. I'll wait. We wait for Dom. There he is. There's the mad lad. I'll wait. We'll let you leave. No, oh, weird. There are hostiles nearby. I wish to leave, please. You could dig south and then just leave that way. Yeah, just keep going. Until you get to the next screen and then leave. There you go. Try it now. There you go. Perfect. Strat. <sighs> Let's head back to Jopa just so that we make a checkpoint and you get to keep your stuff. And then we will uh, want to head to Grit Gate. Yeah, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. All right, so this next journey is, um, it, it can be really spicy, actually. Um, you see that yellow building? Mm -hmm. We're going there. There's not really a good way of doing this. It's just going to be kind of spicy. You might get lost in flower fields. If you do, we'll cross that bridge. You got very lucky. You didn't get lost. Very good. We're, we're good. Canticle of Barathrum. Okay. Um, there's a few things to be aware of here. Uh, there's a few enemies that may just kill you. This, uh, this doesn't get easier with experience. <laughs> um, why don't we, we could cook a, cook a meal. I am hungry. Uh, you could choose some ingredients if you want to try. Like you don't necessarily have to use yourself. Um, so basically all of these ingredients have some kind of effect. Combining them will provide some combination of effects. Uh, you'll kind of, over time, get to know the characteristics of each ingredient. Um, honey tends to have, like, disease preventative measures. Pickled mushrooms tends to have kind of mushroomy effects. I, I know that doesn't sound like a thing, but it is. There you go. An itchy skin doesn't develop into a fungal infection. That's nice. That's actually very good. I'll only get ill for one-tenth the usual length of time. Wow. That's actually also very good, but um, obviously these are very circumstantial, and you are probably not going to encounter either of those things before the effects well. wear off. But we learned that uh, um, what the takeaway there is that honey 
tends to make you less uh like get sick mm -hmm. and uh, um your smoldering mushrooms makes it so that you don't get fungal infections they were pickled sir they were pickled all right our first spicy enemy that's a quillipede Uh, we also have a bug. Oof. You might want to take some... Oh, oh why is that guy here? The, that guy actually naturally spawns here. Uh, you probably... Aaron. Did. Aaron. <laughs> yeah. That's unlucky. They tend to not appear until at least the second floor. Well, nothing, they remember. They remember all the ones I killed. Nothing, uh, but nothing. Nothing we can do but try again. You were all. You almost killed the quillipede. Uh. All right. Same. Same place. Same place. We can go other places if we want, but this is where we gotta go next, and it would just be better if we got this out of the way. Maybe we can try and kill that hungry. stupid novice of the sightless way again right away. Let's try some other ingredients. Yeah, that's the way. We, we, we can do some congealed salve. Might, might, maybe it'll serve us better. There you go. You tie some congealed cell with some star apple jam and a nip of sacred sesame into a pot and stir. Eat it. Plus 11 to saves versus bleeding. I am not sure. I think that's the star, star apple jam effect. I don't, I'm not. I'm wondering if the salve actually contributed anything. It is a little bit random in that sense. All right. So here's what I'm going to recommend. Let's go directly right along this, the, like the tile wall. Like where you are right now is actually a good place to be when you encounter a novice of the sightless way. And we'll, we'll kind of get into why. We're going to explore to our right because, yeah, there they are right now. So try and shoot them. I don't know why they're flying. If you really want to put some pepper on that, you could put some, use a boom rose. You did? Okay, cool. That's going to really rock their world here. Nope. We missed. We're gonna, let's take one more shot, and then after that, we'll move down into the next tile. So there's green dots and red dots. Yeah, it does kind of mean you have less chance of hitting them, but you should still... Okay, we didn't... We didn't hit them. All right, let's move down. You want to move down. So what you just did is one of the few ways to break a psychic connection is to move into the next screen. Um, they will appear soon, so you want to stay near the edge to make sure that we stay like one step ahead um but in this way you can start smacking them and their uh their burrow is now off cool on cooldown so they can't do it again for a while there we go so we managed to take at least that guy out now, these guys are a different question also you have an electric you have a lot of baddies coming your way and you're quite hurt Strange tubes. Oh, those are different strange tubes. Those are very good strange tubes. You definitely want those strange tubes. I, I don't know if I'd recommend all of this. Yeah, you want to leave the screen and try and heal. Get the uh, Get get you get some witchwood bark in you before you die. No, you, you spooky. You 
You're gonna die if you don't if you don't take some witchwood bark. You could take a salve instead, but it's a bit more of a valuable a valuable take. Okay, you didn't get you did not become confused. This is good. Okay, we wanna kill everything. Kill. You leveled up. This is good. And we're inspired. Uh, move up one tile. You are taking massive damage from something in the other tile. Like, below you. Alright. We want We need to kill and then uh, try and recover from this. Not a bad... Not a bad move, actually. Oh, oh there's so many. You might want to hit the bricks. Um... So, you see sprint on the bottom right corner? Like the button? Uh -huh. You want to sprint and then run away. <laughs> Which way? Left. Just keep running. Just keep running until you're not sprinting anymore. There, you're not sprinting anymore. So we're good. Uh, you can start taking some shots if you want, but I would also recommend taking some Witchwood Bark so you have time to recover. Let's hope you don't get confused, because then shooting is going to be difficult. You are confused. It's fine. Um, I Wait a couple of turns, you might wear off the confusion by the time that Mirthling gets to you. closer okay it's hitting you um hit six because i'm pretty sure it's directly to your right oh never mind i was wrong okay they're they're above you these guys are very very easy to kill they're actually very good xp for how easy they are okay this is good we're making progress here um here's a fun thing do you remember the novice of the sightless way you killed that you got the strange tubes on from? Yes. Um, you remember how it was flying? Yes. Why don't you go ahead and examine those strange tubes? I have a jetpack. Uh, not as cool as that, but almost as cool. You're gonna have to try again. Mechanical wings. Let's go ahead and equip those. Manually or automatic? Uh, manual. Just so that we see what we're uh, getting rid of. Okay, so unfortunately, equipping those does get rid of our jackhammer. I forgot they kind of nerfed the jackhammer. Because the jackhammer requires your back. That's okay. Okay, so we're not going to do this. Here's, um, here's like the next level... Cud strategy. If you're on the surface of Cud, not like underground, um, mm -hmm. if you're using, if you have wings equipped and fly, you can basically go to the overworld, like the map, even if there are hostiles nearby. So it's very, very good for um, escape. So hey. the next level strategy is that we use our weapon until basically we want to or need to escape and then we equip the mechanical wings and fly away it's okay they, they went in uh, a separate category that makes more sense so let's uh, rest for a second so we can get our health back perfect things are going well believe it or not we're certainly less dead yeah, we are less dead, and we have we have we're more winged than we were before. Um, let's just like, you know, power power forward. I, w I would suggest that maybe at the once we've explored this screen, we'll end the episode. You don't have to worry about that guy. You, um, our guy have equipped you with a special, um piece of tech that makes those docile to you. 
so, fighting a tree. Yeah, you are fighting a tree. Some trees um, block you, your path. Nice shot. It's a good shot. I know it's defaulting to that tree. It's because you're technically in combat with it, which is dumb, but... Easiest way to deal with that is honestly just to break, like, kill the tree. Now we're in combat with that tree. It shouldn't take long to kill it. Yeah. We can go through that door. Oh, staircase. Yeah. We can, we can not be on this business anymore. Heck yeah. I mean... All of this is pretty good. At least there's no novice of the sightless way. And so broken water skin. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot of stuff here, but I think you can possibly handle it. At the very least, what you could do is like aggro a bunch of stuff and then like you know you can take some shots on things as well um and then go back up the staircase boomerose might be great here actually because it has some area of effect yep. oh no okay yep 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 um all right, yeah. Actually, this uh, this is a pretty good place we to stop um, since we've we basically achieved our basic goal of uh, getting into not the, dying. Not dying, yeah. That that first floor of getting to Grit Gate is really brutal sometimes. Um, so if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And uh, do you have any closing thoughts? Uh, I don't like dying. And I'm going to try to avoid it from now on. <laughs> you haven't been trying till now? I've just been doing what you've, what you've been telling me. Oh. Yeah.